Hello everyone and welcome to Ancient Roman Trading Secrets with General Romulus. That's me, Romulus, with Backpack Trader. Our goal at Backpack Trader is to help you become the best version of the Backpack Trader you can possibly become. A few weeks ago, on May 26th to be exact, we did a little update on a banking company called SoFi, symbol S-O-F-I. The stock caught my attention, not because it has been beaten down so much, although that's a fact. All-time high, 20, just under $25 a share, falling all the way down to just under $5 a share about a month or so ago. Pretty brutal, but that's not what brought it up on the radar. What sent the flags flying is the amount of insider buying, not insider trading, the kind of Gordon Gecko 1987 Wall Street style, but insider buying and the executives who run publicly traded companies are allowed under certain parameters to buy and sell their own company stock, not quite the same way as you and I can, but still they're allowed to do it. And there was a lot of insider buying going on in SoFi, starting off right here, the CEO, Anthony Noto, back on March 4th, again on March 7th, March 10th, March 11th, March um, on eight, uh, March 14th, all the way through. And then we posted our video on May 26th, right here. Well, since then, here's an update. The CEO, Mr. Noto, has bought another uh, almost 60,000 shares of the stock. A couple weeks ago, he paid $7.07. Then last uh, week, I'm sorry, three days ago, he bought another 21,000 shares at 690. And then just yesterday, <laughs> every day I check, Mr. Noto is buying more stuff. Just yesterday, he bought it again at $6.65. This case, it was about 17,000 shares. To really sum this up, the CEO, Mr. Noto, has increased the position size in basically the last three months by about a half a million shares. Average cost on that looks to be uh, just under just under $8. And if you look at SoFair right now, last trade at $6.29. So he's pretty underwater, which might explain why he continues to buy more. He has a good feeling about it. He sees deep value in the stock. And he's picking up his pace as well. See, back in March, it was every couple of days. Then there was a break. Okay, There was right here March 17th. And then he doesn't show up again until May 13th. There are other insiders buying as well. He's not the only one. You've got head of operations right here. And uh, again, there's a director who's buying in here with him. There's another director buying in here with him. Not as heavy. I've looked around the board at the stocks that have been crushed. A lot of the meme stocks or the SPACs, companies that have just been obliterated over the last uh, 6 to 12 months. And this one pops up as experiencing the heaviest insider buying. Another one called Carvana is also seeing some buying, but not nearly the level uh, in terms of the intensity and the consistency that we're seeing over in SoFi. So not only is the stock undergoing a lot of insider buying, there's also, which is one of the things that the stock trading universe over at Reddit really was looking for last year, there's a lot, there's, it, this company is heavily shorted. We pull this up and market cap of about $5 billion on, uh, on SoFi, it's not as heavily shorted as GameStop was a year and a half ago before that uh, stock went crazy, but it is still in the heavier sphere. You see shares outstanding about 15.6%, almost 19% against the float. And then the amount, the actual raw numbers of shares went up by almost uh, 2 million shares from May over April. And we'll see, the reporting will co come out next week for, uh, for June. And we'll see if that number increased again. So you've got heavy insider buying over at SoFi, a stock that, that has been absolutely crushed. There is a lot of short interest against it. There's still a bear market to contend with. The S&P 500 is not broken. It's intermediate or longer term downtrends. Even if the inflation numbers come out where the traders of the world are all uh, bupsy bullish tomorrow morning and the stock market runs up a bit, that won't change what's really going on in here. That won't alter the fundamental structural damage that the stock market has been suffering for the past 13 months. 
The only way to solve that problem is with a deeply discounted situation. In other words, a capitulation level of selling that we have not seen yet. So regardless of what goes on tomorrow morning with the inflation number, even if the stock market goes up and breaks the 50-day average, which would get the whole trading world just ooh, absolutely bonkers, really won't matter because by the end of September, the market is going to revisit these May 20th lows at the very least and most likely breach them and go even lower to the downside. So in the interest of full disclosure, I did purchase some SOFI on Monday. I paid $6.90. I'm not concerned that the stock is down a little bit from my purchase price. Here's why. Because first of all, I look at this as a longer term hold. Second of all, I'm selling covered calls on the position. That's right. I'm lowering my average cost or I'm mitigating the risk or I'm putting cash in my pocket as I go. So here's what I did, everybody. I bought the stock Monday right away. Immediately, I sold the Friday, June 17th expiration, $8. They don't even show it on the list over here. So let's pull those up. Here we are. $8 expiration right there. I sold those. Is this it? No, that's the 10th. So we have to go to the 17th. Here we are. $8. I sold those for, you see that right there? I sold those for 10 cents a piece. So my average cost drops again. And when they expire next week, I'm going to sell them again and keep doing that and keep doing that and keep doing that every few weeks. Heck, I could lower my average cost on this stock down to three bucks a share where the stock might end up going at the end of this bull market altogether. So we have a lot of insider buying over at SoFi. The company is heavily shorted right here. A lot of stock shares shorted against the company. There is good trading action in the options, a lot of volume, fairly tight spreads, creating opportunities to sell off the covered calls and put money in your pocket as, uh, as you wait for the story to unfold. This is going on in the midst of a continuing bear market in stocks, regardless of what goes on tomorrow, even if the market pops. I don't want people saying, oh, Romulus, the market's up to what you're wrong. No, we've had rallies before. We've had several of them, and the market still goes lower. Regardless of what goes on tomorrow, stocks are lower by the end of September, uh, probably by a large degree. So you want to keep an eye on that and be very, very careful. But there's ways to profit in little stocks like this. Remember, back in the bear market, the, the dot-com crash, the NASDAQ bottomed in November of 2002. The rest of the market, the S&P 500 bottomed in March of, uh, of 2003. Amazon, which was one of the hardest hit stocks of that, bottomed in late September, early October of 2001, quite a bit before the rest of the stock market. So SoFi may have bottomed already. Even if the rest of the stock market goes quite a bit lower, this stock may have already put in some kind of a bottom, regardless of what goes on near term up and down. Okay, so these are the kind of things to create opportunities for us, even in the midst of some very challenging market conditions for most of the other trading and investing world. Okay, over in Club Romulus, we're doing great. We're making money. Okay, we have uh, we have profits on the books. We're positive for 2022. I know that's a very rare thing. That's like a, a rainbow and a unicorn with a pot of gold at the end of it all at the same time. Uh, Elon Musk, this is you can you can add that to some things that you think you won't see. Uh, well, you can see this. We are positive territory for 2022. And your stock is not by quite a bit. Matter of fact, by the time this bear market's over, and whatever that is, whether it's in two months or a year or two years, this stock is probably going to be below 500 bucks a share, probably below 400 bucks a share. Okay, Short-term uh, movements aside. Okay, All right. Well, this has been your old buddy Romulus. Always thrilled to have an opportunity to share some ideas with you. Hopefully you find them interesting and perhaps profitable down the road. I'm heading back to ancient Rome. I've got all kinds of fun springtime activities that are waiting for me. Four horse chariot races. That's right. Four horse chariot races in the Circus Maximus, the largest stadium in the world. Well, at least in the ancient world. That's where I'm heading. It's been a thrill. I've enjoyed this week. Hopefully you have as well. Be careful tomorrow and also for quite some time until, until you see that selling climax, capitulation type of stuff, ring this market out. Until you see that, be very careful. All right, I'm heading back to Rome. That's all for now.